Well, you know, there are a lot of things that come to mind when you think of fall with apple picking being the big one for people. So why not make something unique with this favorite fruit? This morning we have Gianna Kordaski, co-founder of Family Fun Twin Cities, and also Tiffany Cavane with the Kids Cooking School, and of course Snow White with us this morning. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Snow White, you are the expert in which kind of apple not to pick. Oh yes, that's right. We don't want any poisoned apples. No, so we're <laughs> glad that you're here with us today. Tiffany, you brought in an apple with mm -hmm. some recipes for us. Snow White, is this an okay apple? Yes, that one looks good. We can eat this one. Okay, good. All right, <laughs> Tiffany, what kind of recipe did you bring in for us today? So this is apple cinnamon rose tarts, oh. and we're, it's really very similar, uh, very simple, a three-step process, and you get these beautiful roses at the end. Wonderful. Well, show us how it's done. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to chop an apple oh. in very thin slices. You can use a mandolin also. So we've got some already pre-sliced for you, and then you microwave them for three minutes. That's the kind of recipe I like, anything yes. that you can microwave, you right, Snow White? Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you agree, too? Okay. You want them to be nice and soft, mm -hmm. and don't be alarmed. When they cook, they're not going to look as nice and white oh. as they were before, but that's okay. So we're going to take <laughs> our slices, and then we have some... Um, pastry strips, so this is just a pie shell. So you can either oh. make it from scratch, which yes. is my favorite, mm -hmm. right? Or you can buy a pre-made pie shell from the grocery store. You cut them in strips. This has cream cheese and cinnamon and a little Ooh. bit of sugar on it, okay? Oh, now, Snow delish. White, what we're going to do is we're going to take these nice, soft uh -huh. apples right. and we're going to gently place them on the edge. Sorry, Don't Snow White, we're putting oh, you to work. We know the dwarfs aren't here to help okay. you out. Oh, no, and none of my forest friends are here, too, but that's all right, oh, because I have all my friends Oh, those would be so helpful, those today. birds. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. I would be scared if there were forest friends in the studio right now, <laughs> so it's fine if they're not here. Okay, so you're just lining up the dough. We're just lining dough. them up. That's right. Okay. And... This is something easy and fun to do with kids. This too. is, we made these last week in our beginners class, and they just absolutely loved it. So then once you lay your apples out, then mm -hmm. you're going to fold this over okay. on the side and then just roll Ooh. it up. Oh. And the trick to the pre-baking the apples is so they're nice and soft and mm -hmm. they roll. And you just roll oh, them that up looks like beautiful. this. beautiful. It looks just like a rose. Yes. <laughs> how pretty is that? Okay, and then you put and them real you quick. Put them you the put pan. them in the baking pan for yep. how long? For 40 minutes at 350. Okay, and okay. then we have the and finished product right here. Yes. Oh, they are gorgeous. How yeah. fun is this? And Gianna, I know that you're going to be featuring this recipe uh, as part of the orchard crawl. Is that correct? At the orchard crawl, we will have both the kids' cooking school and this lovely princess with pretty oh. princess parties. Awesome. Okay, wonderful. Well, if you're interested in the attending the crawl, it is this Sunday at Fisher's Croy Farm Orchard in Hastings. It goes from 10 until 3. Tickets are just $5. Well, thanks so much, everyone, for coming in. Oh, thank, thank you so much. much. It was such a pleasure to have all of you. All right, Kylie, it's pretty hard to follow a princess, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I certainly do. I'll do my best.